Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's talk about soft pull pre-qualification offers. That's right, I've got the monster list of over 80 soft pull pre-qualification offers. Let's dive into it. All right, my friends, so uh, here we go on the Wallet Monkey website. So it's just walletmonkey.io. You gotta register for a free account. No real strings attached to that. Uh, we just do that to filter out traffic, bots, etc. And on this page, you're gonna see over 80 soft pull pre-qualification offers. So what does that mean? Some banks offer a pre-qualification offer. Now this is different than a pre-approval and this is also different than a targeted offer. So there's a couple different options and ways that banks go about trying to solicit you for their business, right? And so the most common way is actually a pre-approval. So what this is, is they just provide a link on their website. You go in, put the last four of your social security number, personal information like your name, address, and how much stated income you've got. And then they kind of match you to offers or say that they don't have anything for you, right? So this is essentially a soft poll. They do a little sneaky peek uh, look at your credit profile or they're pulling your data from a uh, second tier data furnisher. All right, so the whole point here and uh, the game plan is to gauge the temperature uh, for which our credit profile is currently sitting at with these banks. So if we're getting pre-qualification offers and then we log into our Experian account and we log into our Credit Karma account and we've got like 99% odds and we got pre-approval offers, well, that tells us to a higher degree that we're probably gonna get approved for that card. Now, what the limit is, who knows, but for the most part, that'll give us an idea of, hey, is this hard pull even worth it to go through and, and get this card, right? So anyways, we've had some changes to this page and it's been a long time since we talked about this. The last time we talked about this, I think was last year. So anyways, let's do a quick update. First off, at the top here, you notice that we cover all the big banks. So American Express, Bank of America, Truist, Capital One, and then there's a new, this is a newer link. This is the Capital One Venture X card. So this is a pre-qualification just for this card. Whereas this one through Capital One will pre-qualify you for credit rebuilders and their prime cards. Whereas this is just like their super prime card, right? And then Chase, this is actually back open. This goes up and down throughout the year, meaning like the page doesn't work. But when the page is up like it is now, what I've been hearing is that you should unlock your credit bureaus. Like if you have them frozen, you should unlock them to do the pre-qualification because if you have them locked down, they might actually deny you offers, right? Or, or can't find you any offers. So the issue with Chase is that it's, they're pulling based on geographical location now. So for example, you can expect uh, a lot of times an Experian and a TransUnion hard pull, but sometimes they'll just do one or the other. I mean, they're even pulling Equifax for some people. So we did a dedicated video on Chase. Most of that is still relevant. You wanna go check that out on the channel. Uh, it's just everything that you need to know about Chase, I think was the name of the video. Next is Citibank. Citibank is piped into Experian and Credit Karma and Wallet Hub and all, all the Credit C Sames, all of these engines that attempt to match you at a zero to 100% uh, rating, Chase does too. It's just Citibank stuff tends to show up more, I think, than Chase. So that's a good opportunity for you. These links, by the way, th there's nothing fishy going on with them. Um, we just put this on here so that we can actually track how many people click because I'm genuinely nosy and curious. Uh, but none of that's an affiliate link on this page, right? Discover only offers personal credit cards now. They used to offer business, but on the personal side, again, another great prequel to kind of come back to. You can have a maximum of two cards with Discover. FNBO, we're still striking FNBO in the uh, Wallet Monkey community, but you're more than welcome to get a card with them. It's just uh, what happened was they got really, really popular, went viral. A lot of people were getting pre-qualified for huge amounts. You know, I'd say $10,000 to $17,000 was the range that we were seeing a lot. And then what was happening is people, whether they're using the card or not, they were getting their, their limits slashed and cards shut down. So that's in the same bucket as or synchrony and a uh, community, right? So not that great. GM Marcus credit card. So this is the GM through Goldman Sachs, okay? And so that card is another one with the Apple. I don't know why this is up here. This should actually be down below in the uh, fintechs, I guess. But same game, you do the pre-qualification, lock down your TransUnion, get approval. You can have both the GM card and the Apple card if you wanted to. HSBC, this is another one that kind of goes in and out with uh, not only are they offering services to the United States, but do they have a pre-qualification up? So they're kind of a weird bank. Regions is another great option that I don't think a lot of people really think about because they are geo-locked to only 15 states. A lot of people just kind of write them off, but Regions and PNC are great banks, okay? And PNC will give you uh, soft pull pre-qualification offers. Regions starts to give you targeted offers. We shot a video on the channel talking about somebody added their mother to a safety deposit box and then the mother started getting targeted mail offers. So this is different. In the mail, getting a pre-approval offer is very targeted and that's very different than a pre-qualification, right? So the odds and likelihood of you getting 
it when it's a targeted pre-approval offer is like you are pre-approved. So the assumption there is that yes, you're gonna get it like 99 percentile, okay? Wells Fargo, they, for the most part, always offer a pre-qualification. Cool, so we got some notes on that. Next, we've got a small list of credit unions here. There is a lot more, but understand that with a lot of credit unions, you have to get membership first. So I, I could have listed like every single credit union, but why bother? These are the ones that are either unlocked or the pre-qualification is always up, okay? So we got American Eagle Credit Union, we got Dover Federal. This is, uh, we've had some people get loaded up with Dover in the community. They're a little tight on paperwork. They like to see the POI, especially on the business side, but they will load you up. NASA Credit Union, I believe this one is, for the most part, stayed up. Uh, we've got videos, you, you can get these notes over here, but we got videos and detailed uh, information on that. Navy Fed, you know, we're huge fans of Navy Fed on the channel. Um, you must be a member, but the pre-qualification is always open, and it is, uh, I would consider, very accurate. Okay, Telco is next. This is another one where you have to be a member, but this pre-qualification page has been up for a really long time. Uh, Unify, this is newer. This just, this just came out this year. So we dedicated video on that. I think that's right here. And then USA Alliance, federal two Fs, too many Fs. <laughs> US Alliance of Federal Credit Union. And uh, that's another one that's like kind of low key. We've got a dedicated video that we're gonna be shooting on this very, very soon. But uh, yeah, there are more credit unions, like I said, but those are kind of the top ones that are consistently open that we are featuring. Okay, so FinTech is next. How we layer this, let's talk about this really quick and then uh, we'll wrap up, is if you're doing your app spree, you want to start with the big banks first. And I think this is a mistake that a lot of people make is they go after like store credit cards first and they think that their score isn't good or that their profile isn't strong enough. So they they sign themselves up for the crap and then they go and fill their profile up with a bunch of crap and then say, well, how am I gonna get a chase now? No, no, no. We gotta start at the best. We gotta start at the chase cards because the five by 24 rule. And so if you wanna get a chase card over the next two years, you've got to get your profile ready and under five by 24 so that you do qualify. So we start with the big banks first and then towards the end of your app spree, you layer in the fintechs and whatever else, store credit cards, lines of credit, loans, all of that stuff. Like I say, put that at the end. And we've had consistent uh, success now. We've got some new videos coming up where we'll be talking more about this, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. Whereas again, a lot of people will go to these cards first and that is a mistake. Now, that being said, if you're rebuilding or you have a thin credit profile, we kind of need to go to these cards first because we need to build ourselves up to 30, 50, $60,000 in personal credit, seven to 10 accounts before we transition and pivot into business. Now, can you get it before that? Yes, you're gonna get smaller limits. We've covered this in previous videos. Let's finish up with the FinTechs, okay. Apple, we got that. So again, same game there. Just understand that they are sitting on a mountain of losses right now through Goldman and they are looking for a buyer still actively. No more updates on that. Deserve is great because they're again a great card to stack at the end of an app spree. The Crowdfit or just any of the uh, other deserved co-brand cards, uh, those are great options for you. Uh, Bank Mobile, Pedal, this is like, it started off as a student card, but uh, I believe that they offer for everybody now, and that's through Web Bank. There's quite a few that are through Web Bank, so just keep that in mind in terms of your strategy, etc. Upgrade, I, I loved Upgrade for a long time because they kind of had an easy onboarding process and it kind of appealed to a subprime credit, but they also gave really great rates, like 17 to 21%, which we just had somebody the other day get a 33% uh, community card. So, I mean, those rates are amazing compared to what I'm seeing now. And those rates have stayed pretty consistent. Like, I don't know what they're at now, but they're not jacking up rates to a high degree with existing customers because I've got one of their cards and I haven't noticed it change that much. I think, I think mine went from 17 to 21%. That's it though, payoff. There's another uh, option for you. BlockFi is uh, dead, so we gotta remove that. <laughs> BlockFi is bankrupt. Uh, Gemini, I actually have this card still. I use it from time to time to get to build up crypto rewards. I love this card. It's easy, easy to manage, easy to use. No real issues with it being locked down. I gotta call and unlock it, blah, 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 okay? So that's it. And then uh, Tomo. Tomo is another one that we featured recently, Uncut Channel, where we cover the Tomo Boost and the Tomo Credit Card. Those are great options for you. At the end of your spree or if you're rebuilding, here's your credit rebuilders. I put very little weight on these, okay? I don't like these at all. I think they're all trash, but I've given them here. They do offer pre-qualifications. Look at the limit notes over here. Most of these, if you can squeeze $3,000 out of them, you'll be lucky. That's a very low limit. We need to be showing the banks that we can get 10, 15, 20K limits, okay? Store credit card pre-qualifications are next. So here's another block of 23. So yeah, I mean, we're like 84. 
586 different pre-qualification links. And we got everything here. I mean, you can even pre-qualify for Tempur-Pedic. And a lot of these rotate on and off. There's new ones that come up and go away. This is what you got for this. And we've got some that are through Wells Fargo, some that are through Capital One, Comenity, and then uh, Synchrony. Citibank, Wayfair, et cetera, et cetera. So, all right, if you're looking for more than just that page that we went through, well, I've got something for you. First off, we've got the free Discord, okay, which is filled to the gills with credit data, credit intel, all the information that you're gonna need, right? And there's pin messages in there. I mean, there's like two and a half, maybe more years of history now in there, okay? Join that. That's your first step if you've got more questions about how do we tackle and handle a apps rate. But just look at these results, 70K, I got my 60K that I did last year. Uh, there's more than that, but that's all I've covered in videos. 100,000, lazy 50K app spree, 20,000 to 250K, bought a new house, look at this, 60K from Truist. I mean, there's a ton that we go into. This is a culmination of all the personal credit profiling, all the business credit profiling that we've possibly got. Hundreds of banks with all the gems, all the intel broken down page by page. So if you want a more detailed approach, if you wanna be able to access this for a lifetime and come back to it, uh, we're always updating it. We update it actually every single week then this is something that you might wanna look into. Again, this is a paid option. We've got tons of free stuff besides the channel. You saw a recent video, somebody went out and got over $300,000 on just watching 70 hours of our free content. Nobody else is doing it like that. So uh, we're providing you with everything that you need, especially now more than ever. We need to be banding together. We need to make it through what, what we're facing with the inflation and the interest rates, okay? We've got these options for you. You can check it out. The link will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Hey, you should subscribe. 60% of you are not subscribed yet, right there. Okay, bye. Wild monkey.